The bank transfer option has been updated in the latest version of Sage Accounts to make it even quicker to enter your transactions. Let's have a look at this in the software. To do this in bank accounts, make sure you've got the right bank account selected that you want to transfer money from, and then from the toolbar, click Bank Transfer. We switch from a wizard style option to the new batch entry screen. This means that you can now post all of your transfers simultaneously, which should make it easier if you enter your banking information at the end of each week or even on a monthly basis. For those of you that use the foreign trader option, you can now enter a batch of transactions as the exchange rate can be entered for each one individually. The other thing you'll probably notice, and it's something you'll see throughout this new version, are the buttons along the top of the window. What was the discard button has been renamed to clear form and moved to the top along with print list and send to Excel. Buttons for the most commonly used keyboard shortcuts have also been added. These have always been available in your software, but we've now added the buttons to make them a bit more obvious. It's worth learning about F6, F7 and F8, as you can use these when entering any type of transactions and they can help speed things up. All of the other function keys on your keyboard have a use and if you want to find out more just open the help menu and choose shortcut keys. If you're familiar with bank transfers, you'll know that they post as journals in your accounts. And one of the new benefits of the software is that you can now edit or delete journals. This means that if you do make a mistake, it's quick and easy to put things right. The new corrections option, however, is demonstrated in a separate video.